Hi, you guys. It's your girl, Cree. I know it's been a while. I uh, just want to welcome you guys back to my channel. I'm pretty sure all of you are new because I haven't posted content in a while. But today I have something special for you, a Bath & Body Works small haul. Um, there was a $4.95 sales. I'm sure you guys already know. If you don't, they are having it. I believe it's still today, so go ahead and get it. But if you already know, then you know what we're here for. Today, I am going to give you guys a review of Chasing Fireflies Body Mist. Um, so this is the main attraction for today's video. I did go and purchase several things from um, Bath and Body Works. I actually had a list of things that I wanted to smell in store. I don't know about anybody else, but typically when I go to Bath and Body Works or when I purchase from them, I purchase online. I'm a big online shopper. I don't really like to go into stores if I don't have to. So obviously YouTube is a big influence. <laughs> I have also fell prey to people's opinions and buying things because YouTube told me to. And so, and there's nothing wrong with that if that works for you, but it can be a little costly and you can find yourself just really not enjoying the products that other people said you would. And obviously because people's opinions are not your own. So if you can, I would recommend that you go into the store and smell these products first. Don't go off of anyone's opinion unless you truly, truly trust them. And even then, you just never know. Everything smells different to different people's nose. So take that into consideration as well as in my video and with others. Because just what we get may not be what you get. And so you could end up disappointed and have to take a trip to the store anyway. So why not save yourself a double trip and go the first time? So I had a list that I wanted to get and things that I wanted to put my nose on based off of other people's reviews. And so I am going to show you those things that I did purchase. So here is my bag from Bath & Body Works. And the first thing that I did get was pumpkin pecan waffles. And you guys, I knew from the reviews and just what people said that I would like this. I knew from the notes, honestly, pumpkin pe pecan waffles. And honestly, the way it sounds is exactly how it smells. Uh, it is gourmand. It is decadent. It is thick. It is sweet. It is sticky sweet. It is exactly what it says. It smells like pumpkin. I can definitely get that. Well, to be honest, I'm one of those people. I'm not a super big fan of pumpkin. However, in this fragrance, you, you get that cinnamony type of smell. That pecan is what I'm getting pulling through. And then that waffle smell, you definitely get that that bakery type of smell. It's delicious. It smells like it sounds. So if you like those notes of what it is, it is maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. You you What you see is what you get with this. So if you think you would like to smell like that or you like that scent... I wouldn't always want to smell like that, but even if I use this in my house as something cozy in the fall, it's a win for me. So it'll definitely go in my gourmand scented category stash. So yeah, on to the next. So the next scent that I got that was not on my list was sweater weather. I actually went into the store to smell together weather. I was going to buy that and I was going to buy it and pick it up in store. When I got there, I was a little, I'm not even going to say I was disappointed, but it just didn't give what I thought it would give. So a young lady that I watched and I can't remember her name, um, she said that it smelled like Charosa 40 which is the Sol de Janeiro spray with the pink juice. As a matter of fact, I think I have it right here. I do. I've purchased this several times. I've had it in the biggest bottle that they carry. I love this scent. It just doesn't really last on me. So I'm working on that. But I, And so I just had to get my hands on it. I got it. I didn't get that feel in the store, so I put it down. But I tried this which I was not interested in based off of reviews or whatever. And the notes for this is sun crisp apple, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. <laughs> um, I'm shocked. I didn't even think this was an apple fragrance. If, if I had smelt this without looking at the notes, I wouldn't have picked apple anywhere out of it. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm not even the best at describing what I smell, but I will say this is a fresh, crisp scent. So if this is apple, it's a fresh apple. Um, I love it. It smells like... 
I didn't even say it smells like fall. It just smells good. It just smells pretty. It smells fresh, fresh out the shower. I love it. It's a win for me. So if you like fresh scents, definitely check this out. All right, you guys. So I just realized that I lost a part of my video, but this is Endless Sea. This is the other um, fragrance mist that I bought that I also loved. It is a fresh scent. Now, you guys, please forgive me. I'm not sure what happened in the process of me editing and recording these videos, but I've obviously lost some footage. So I'm just going to quickly piece in what I've missed. Uh, I spoke briefly about the fact that obviously um, this fragrance has been compared to two very popular discontinued currently scents. Now, Fairy Tale has made a uh, reappearance and it is actively available on the website now at Bath and Body Works, but I don't know how long that will be the case. I don't trust it. So if I were you, if you're a fan, I would definitely would still go out and get this. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. When you first smell this fragrance, you do get Fairy Tale in the beginning. Like, very quickly, if you smell it out of the atomizer, you will smell that. But to me, it dissipates. There's definitely a DNA of fairy tale in there. I get that. Um, but I would not say that these are dupes at all. Um, this fragrance is much fresher to me than fairy tale. Fairy tale is more on the uh, perfumey. Um, it's not like a crazy perfumey, but you know, we all know that that's like a dupe for Libre or not even a dupe, but very similar. You know what I mean? So it has that DNA, but this is so much fresher. And then when it comes to Dahlia, to me, this just isn't a dupe for that. Um, personally, I think people get that off of the pairs, but to me, they go in two totally different directions. One pair gives freshness and then one is giving more of a crisp and then gourm it goes gourmand in Dahlia. If you know Dahlia and you love it, and I promise you guys, Dahlia and Fairy Tale are two of my favorite scents. So I just wanted to come in and tell you guys that I didn't want to spend too much time on it. I know a lot of people have said that and you may get it and feel that it's exactly the same and that's fine too. I'm not knocking anybody who feels that way, but for me personally, um, if you had Dahlia, if you have it, like I, I have it, um, I would not go and get this thinking that it was a dupe. I would be highly upset if I did. So don't go out and buy a whole bunch. At least get your hands maybe on one or go in a store like I said before and try it and you know make your own decision from that but I would be weary because I started to do the same thing with chasing fireflies based off of fairy tale but like I said fairy tale is available right now so go ahead and get fairy tale if you can instead of going to get this as a replacement it's no need um, but you may like this as well but go ahead and check out the dupe that I have um, if you're interested in that perfume then you may want to get uh, chasing fireflies um, instead all right so uh continue to watch the video i hope you guys enjoy sorry about that i'm new to this and i'm gonna work on getting a little bit better so obviously i wasn't recording when i thought i was but you guys the dupe that i have um is jimmy chu i want you i think they are very similar and i'll continue to break that down further right, so i'm just gonna put an insert in of the notes of the jimmy chu This is golden pear jasmine blooms and illuminated woods maybe not the woodsiness because i told you i don't pick that up but the pear i'm just going to say that the pear gives off just the fruit i'm going to say that's the fruit smell that we're getting um and then when it comes to the jasmine blooms well it has jasmine and red lily and jimmy Choo. i want you and then the illuminated woods we just gonna discuss but i don't really too much pick up the vanilla and jimmy Choo. i want you maybe it's in there maybe it gives, gives it a little sweeter edge but i promise you guys if you try if you try this out if you want, I promise you, this is a cheaper alternative. I don't even like this fragrance anymore. I'm not even going to hold you. And ever since I put the two together, like to realize that they are the same <laughs> or very similar, I don't even too much like this anymore. I'm going to keep it for the sake of keeping it to see if I if it comes around to me. But honestly, I'm going to keep this and probably get rid of this. Probably because I don't really like this fragrance anymore, even though it's Jimmy Choo. I'll probably end up gifting this to somebody I know. And keeping this because I know it's similar. So, I promise you guys, that's the dupe that I came up with. I was so happy when I got it. I said, oh my God, I've been procrastinating, putting videos together. I got to go ahead and do it. I'm going to put the video together. So, here I am. I'm sorry. It's kind of all over the place. My son is in and out of the room. Mommy things. So, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope that you have these fragrances and that you are able to put them together and see that too. And be like, oh my God, I hope you guys like it and enjoy the video and that you like the dupe that I came up with. Um, 
I don't even really care if you give me credit, but if you see somebody out there and you know you saw my video first and I said it, let them know that your girl said that too. Just let them know that I agree. I promise you, this is, this is a dupe. These are dupes. They are. And you know, Bath & Body Works is good for pulling out a dupe from another one. They got their inspiration from Jimmy Choo. I want you for chasing fireflies. I swear. And it does have that, that little bit of Dahlia, a little bit of fairy tale type of thing in it. You know, I promise. Try them out. Let me know what you think. And so that will wrap up this video. Until the next time, you guys be safe. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you found a dupe or if you think it's similar to something, let me know what you think down below. And I will be back in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great weekend.